Mullen Technologies was incorporated in 2014 mm. as a successor company from the acquisition of Coda Automotive and Mullen Motors Cars. Mullen went public in November 5th, 2021. Today, the company is worth around $200 million, and this is the subject of today's video. Welcome to episode 2 of this new series on EV manufacturers. Coda Automotives was founded in 2009, and that word winning company's all electric sedan came with a range of 88 miles or around 142 kilometers, the longest among its class at the time. At one point, Coda was one of the two only certified electrical vehicle companies selling EVs across the United States. The other company was Tesla. Coda was focused on accelerating the adoption of electrical vehicles by improving performance, safety, reducing costs, and commercialization production of battery systems built for automotive applications. Founded in 2002, Mullen Motors Cars was the company behind the Mullen GT, which was the first electric supercar in the market back in 2007. Mullen GT was named by Forbes magazine as the seventh fastest American production car in 2006. Mullen Technologies is the product of a strategic union of the economic efficiency offered by Coda Automotive with the superior features provided by Mullen Motors Cars technology. Mullen as we know it today is the culmination of nearly a decade long undertaken by David to make his vision a reality. Mullen originally intended to launch the Dragonfly K50, also known as the Kiantu K50 luxury sports car by 2021. The company intends to field a luxury model first, then pivot to all customer electrical vehicle models. On June 15, 2020, Mullen Technologies announced a merger agreement with Net Element Incorporated. On March 17, 2021, Mullen Technologies announced that they would be opening a factory in Memphis, Tennessee, for the manufacture of the Mullen 5 crossover SUV and planning to sell these models as early as 2024. In September 2022, Mullen acquired Bollinger Motors, the manufacturer of EV pickups and SUV. Now, when it comes to its production, the latest addition to their line is the Mullen iGo, with a price tag starting at 11,999 USDs. The Mullen iGo intends for companies focusing on the last mile deliveries and is based on a 96 inch wheelbase, 16.5 kilowatts per hour battery pack, and a rear wheel drive and a curb weight of around 1,753 pounds, with a range of 124 miles. According to the NEDC estimates, the vehicle can easily handle the stop and go and weave in and out typical off narrow European urban streets. With a price tag of around $55,000, Mullen 5 was designed, engineered, and manufactured entirely in the USA. The 5 embodies everything that is thought to be an unthinkable, unconceivable, or impossible, but only until you get into the driver's seats and imagine what's possible. The Mullen 5 was, has an estimated range of 325 miles, with an electronically limited 155 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 miles per hour under 3.2 seconds, and a 95 kilowatts per hour battery pack. With the Dragonfly coming soon, even though seeming inferior than the Mullen 5, with an estimated range of 236 miles, 125 miles per hour max electronically limited, and a 0 to 60 miles per hour at 4.6 seconds. These details might be updated in the near future. Mullen 1, the EV fleet solution by Mullen. Mullen is working to provide businesses across the United States with a practical and sustainable commercial electrical vehicles alternative that can be customized for a variety of use cases. Multiple classes of commercial electrical vans will be designed, manufactured, and customized by Mullen at its Tunico MS AMIC facility. Mullen provides two classes of vans, the Class 1 commercial cargo van, which has a 38.7 kilowatt per hour battery pack and rear wheel drive electrical motor. The vehicle will have a modular 144 cubic feet of cargo that can be easily adapted to different client configuration requirements. The vehicle range is estimated to be 155 miles and above. The second option is the Class 2 cargo van with a 78.8 kilowatt per hour battery pack and a rear wheel drive electrical motors. Vehicle will have a modular 420 cubic feet of cargo and that can be easily adapted for different configuration requirements. 
Vehicle range is estimated at 200 miles and above. Some of the information that is available relating towards the production facility includes that they are located 50 miles from Memphis, Tennessee. They have around 120,000 square feet of turnkey engineering facility on 100 acres. They're also the center for manufacturing innovations and validation and the ability for light vehicle assembly. With proximity to all major rail lines, interstates, Mississippi River systems, and air logistics, Mullen Manufacturing Facilities are located in a primary logistics center of North America. The automotive suppliers of the Southeast Corridor, the Mid-South Tennessee region, and the North Delta region provide Mullen with the baseline for manufacturing success. Mullen is currently working on creating the necessary infrastructure and the required machinery to support the large-scale electrical vehicle productions, which will begin in quarter 3, 2024. About the acquisition of Bollinger Motors, Bollinger Motors is an American automotive designer and manufacturer of electrical sports utilities and medium-duty vehicle lines. The company has also successfully developed proprietary vehicle battery packs, drive terrain, thermals, and vehicle control software units. In 2017, Bollinger built and debuted the critically acclaimed B1 Class 3 sport utility vehicle, the first of its kind. The company followed its initial success with the development of a second generation B1 and B2 vehicles before pausing in favor of the commercial truck development. With years of history in Class 3 truck developments, and IP, patents, and expertise, the company's decisions made sense to pivot into the commercial vehicle's developments for Class 3 to 6. As a part of the acquisition, the company brings Mullen nearly 50,000 reservations previously taken for the B1 and B2 sport utility vehicles. With Mullen's acquisition and capital injections, both B1 and B2 programs will begin after the production for Class 3 to 6 commercial truck programs. Some of the latest news that Mullen has shared includes the third quarter results. Mullen has announced $99 million cash on hand and cash equivalent as of August 8, 2022. That's an asset growth of 391%, with a positive working capital of $27.6 million. 318 million in financial commitments and a reduction of debts of around 77%. The 77% debt reduction minimizes the debt overhang problem and implies that equity holders can invest in a company positioned for growth and sound financial performance. Some of the other news that Mullen has shared includes the positive aspects of the pre-orders for Mullen 5 electrical SUVs crossover and it being exceeding expectations as the 5 strikingly different tour begins. From a financial institution perspective, Mullen does enjoy a level of activity that some other stocks might not have at the current moment. Some of the recent major transactions includes the Bollinger Robert company being given 51 million shares of the company on the 20th of September 2022. But more recent transactions that might be smaller in number are happening a lot more frequently through the financial institutions as shown through the activities all the way in October being in the tens and tens of transactions. As seen throughout the entire video, Mullen is attempting to be a growth company in the electrical vehicle industry field. They attempt to deliver both electrical vehicles that are more closer to sedans, SUVs and trucks as well as last mile deliveries, vans and vehicles. Do you think that Mullen has the capability of reaching that growth? Make sure to mention down in comments below. Make sure to subscribe and share your comments about what do you think about this series. Thank you for watching.